Hey everybody, this is a video that I'm going to try to pack a lot of information to, into about charging the clicker. And this right here is a clicker. I just want everybody to know what it sounds like and then I'll explain the purpose. So listen, if you hear this, simple little device, it makes a clicking noise. It means absolutely nothing to this dog right now. It's going to. This is Dancer. I'm going to be keeping Dancer for about a week longer to help out the new owners. And so I chose her to start this so that I can work with her next week and put up some more videos of different things to kind of show you all what's going on. So the first thing we're going to do is charge the clicker with a new puppy. Simply what that means is I'm going to feed this dog dog food, bite by bite. And each time that it takes it out of my hand, when it takes the bite, I'm going to click. And it's going to build a positive association between that click and eating that food. And we're gonna do that. And then when you get the dog, you're gonna do that the first couple of weeks that you have it. I like doing it. These dogs will eat three meals a day. When you bring them home for the first little bit, I like doing it every meal if you can. But if you can't, that's fine. Try to do it once a meal. But you wanna do it at the meal time so that they're hungry so they'll eat the food. And most of these dogs will be pretty food motivated so they'll wanna do this. And it's a good time for you to bond with a puppy too and kinda of play with it as you feed it and click. You're gonna build a positive association. You have to get that dog to know that, that food and this clicker and you are happy and positive. You can tell the dog good boy every time you do something with it. You can tell the dog, you know, whatever you want to say. But the clicker has no emotion. It's a sound. It doesn't know when we come home from a day at work and we've been stressed out and we're trying to train our puppy and inside we're internally stressed and the dog knows that. You know, we're trying to hide that and be happy with the dog. This clicker doesn't have a baggage of that. The baggage of fighting with your wife, the baggage of being at work, being mad, the baggage of having to get out of kids, or whatever it is. The clicker is always the same. But it will transition into lots of other things as time goes on. So let's just start out with a few of these. Now, I've never, disclaimer is, we've never done this with her. We've never done it with me at all. I've done it with Waylon, and it worked great. Um, so we'll just see how it goes. This is live and real time, so we'll see what happens. <clears throat> just keep a little cup of food nearby. Try to look around. Here, cool, she knows what's going on. Okay, she smells it right as she takes it on my fingers. Click. Now, some ready. That's a good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Again, you hear that click? It's right as she takes it on my fingers, she gets the click. And as time goes, she might start trying to bite my shoestring while we're doing this or jump up on me. We need to make sure that we're not letting those behaviors happen while we're doing the food and clicking. Because if you do, you're reinforcing a bad behavior. We want her to just be looking around, being chill, being good. You don't tell her no, you don't get on her, you just want to get down. Is she down? Are you too? You never want to reinforce a bad behavior in any way. Because then they think, well, oh, I can do that and I get food. She's being perfect. She's already sitting and doing good. Now, as we transition over time next week, we're going to start working on set. And she'll literally be doing the same thing she's doing now. And I'll click and give the food when she sets. And I'm not going to tell her set. I'm just going to click and give her the food. And then we'll build in the command as the days go by. Look down the road. Right now, we're just doing positive reinforcement. When you get your puppy home, do this for an entire meal. They're eating about three-fourths of a cup three times a day. So at three-fourths of a cup, at least one time a day, feed the whole thing by hand. It's actually really fun. You get to spend time with the dog. We dropped it. Sometimes we mess up and drop it. Just pick it up and do it again. Loving this. See, we're not gonna. And when you give it to her, don't let her just yank it out of your hands. Like, hold it between your fingers. Let her get in there and real gently pull it out of your fingers so that she doesn't become an aggressive, take food out of your hand, kind of dog like that. See? But that's really easy. That click is me saying good girl without saying good girl and putting my emotion into it. 
dogs will respond so much better to this over time as you're trying to teach them. I wish they were watching. They could tell me. Is it Ellie? Because, yeah, Prancer is Winnie Bell. Ellie. I think it's Ellie. I'm sure it won't stick for one name, right? One time. Yeah. Ellie. See how, do you see the focus that she has? This is the same focus that this dog will have when we're training before a meal. When she's hungry, when we're trying to get her to learn how to come, when we're trying to get her to sit, we're trying to get her to go in her kennel, all these things. This is the kind of focus you're going to get by doing this. And it's wonderful because the dog learns so quick. I mean, they're six weeks old, but in two weeks, you could potentially be having your dog go into its crate. Go to a spot that you thought to go to with food, of course. Um, command. And uh, it's, they're like sponges in this age. That's it for now. And one thing I'll add to you that I didn't have enough food when I brought it down here, but when you're done with the piece by piece, what I do is I usually leave maybe like eight or ten pieces at this level. When they're done, the jackpot. They've done a good job of giving the little jackpot of food and let them eat it up by themselves. And just kind of like they did good, so they wanted a little extra all the time to finish their meal. So, anyway, there'll be more coming. Uh, thanks for watching.